Hello from Nassau for the third time this trip. Uh, excited to get off the boat here one more time in Nassau. I'm going to check out Margaritaville. So I booked this with a resort pass uh, a few months ago with an Amex offer. So it was spend 100, save 20. Uh, this with fees was about 110, I believe. So a little over that. Um, so with uh, with a discount, about 90 bucks for the day, get a you know beach chair place to check out pretty close to the ship it's walking distance it's got a water park so we're gonna check that out um but yeah overall excited to get off the ship here it's been a great cruise so far really like this ship a lot love this class of ship freedom class really like it a little bit more i think than the oasis class just easier to get around a lot more stuff just kind of packed in on this ship versus having to walk all over the place um overall uh you know great group of people on the ship I think these longer sailings I think it's a little bit more families so that's kind of nice versus the weekend cruises that I typically do so excited to see what the day brings I'm gonna go check out the windjammer for breakfast here than earlier this week a little overcast I'm sure it'll warm up it's about 10 a.m. to 15 coming off the ship so we will see how the day goes but it is a little chillier than the other days I've been here I think it's actually like my third or fourth time seeing the wish this week I've like lost count do love that ship I want to get on board the treasure at some point in the next year yeah a couple ships in port today though at least three a little less busy than uh, Saturday when I was here. They had six in, in the port, which was crazy. Uh, but, you know, Aquaventure wasn't that busy. So, in terms of what I've experienced in the past, at least. So, excited for today. Maybe a more mellow day on shore. Strike that. I just turned the corner here and there's two more ships. So, there's actually five in the port today. This, uh, this port's just massive. There's always a thousand ships in here. So, pretty funny. So we're going to walk through the new port here, walk over past some of the fun at Senior Frogs, which I'm sure is going despite it being 10.30 in the morning. We'll make our way to Margaritaville. As we walk through the new port of Nassau, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so if you like cruise content, resort content throughout the Caribbean and the United States, as well as the rest of the world. Lots of stuff coming to the channel in 2024. We're going to take a quick tour walking through the new port here. This is a massive change for Nassau. This used to be a very chaotic experience. Lots of people trying to get you in their taxis, which still exists to some extent, but it's much more organized, a lot less intimidating. Uh, there's a lot of room for people to walk around. The old port was just absolutely awful at that. Um, so I, I really like what they did here. I like the nice organized shops, lots of opportunity to buy some really good souvenirs. And there's some bars and restaurants right here in the port area as well. So if you don't want to venture beyond the port area, you can just exist in here and probably have a nice little day. I do recommend walking out of the port area though. The area around the cruise terminal is very safe. Despite some of the warnings from the State Department about the Bahamas, the actual like area that tourists hang out in Nassau is not really gonna present a danger to you. Of course, always be aware of your surroundings, but. I would encourage you to explore the country that you are visiting. So a lot of fun stuff here in port. Um, love the bar serving drinks and the pineapples. Saw one in like a huge watermelon too. So a lot of fun here. The Margaritaville Resort and the water park are the west side of Nassau, so you're going to want to exit the port area on the west. About a 10 minute walk from the main gate of the port after you're getting off of the ship. So we're walking over there now, and that spits you out into a few stalls for more shopping as well as the senior frogs. And then it's just a quick two block walk. You can actually see the Margaritaville Resort at the very end of this shot here on the beach the last tall building that you see there so really a short walk to get over to the fun for the day
Say from the port, it takes another 10 15 minutes to walk over to Margaritaville, depending on the size of your party, too. If you got young kids with you walking, might be a little bit slower. Bunch of shops, though, just to peruse through, so you can pop into those, see if there's any souvenirs that are to your liking. Making our way over to the Fins Up Water Park. Now, whether or not you are buying your tickets day of or if you purchased through Resort Pass like I did, you are going to have to pick up your tickets at the ticket booth right here on the left, the yellow building. They'll give you a wristband and they'll walk you into the water park. Very short wait, though. I imagine that lines could maybe get a little bit longer uh, later in the day when it warms up or if it's just a busier time of year. But this is going to be your entrance to the water park. So it's separate from the main entrance to the actual Margarita Resort, Margaritaville Resort, rather. Just a really cool water park here. Definitely a lot smaller scale than Baja Mar or Atlantis that I visited on other parts of this trip. But the Fins Up Water Park is going to have all of the awesome water park staples that you're looking for. You're going to have a lazy river that goes around the entire pool complex. There's going to be waterfalls. There's going to be fun little animals that are squirting water at you. There's going to be a few water slides, not massive water slides by any means but still pretty fun they're gonna have uh, a few kid play areas like younger kids splash pads there's even some hot tubs that are hidden above the pool complex that i found i'll show you in a sec and then they have a very unique offering which is actually a cliff jump experience so there's a very deep portion of the pool that you can jump off of a cliff that's been built here at fins up water park and you can land in some pretty deep water Pretty fun and uh, not something you find at every water park, so I did appreciate that. Of course, you have restaurants. You have everything from you know your cheeseburger in paradise because this is a Jimmy Buffett facility to bar with all the tropical drinks that you're looking for. Then you have a beach area with beach chairs. That's a part of the Junkanoo Beach. Uh, it's kind of semi-private, not really walled off from the rest of the beach necessarily, but the chairs are reserved just for people with the wristbands. And if you are coming in to port on a Royal Caribbean ship, you might have a flow rider on board and Fins Up Water Park has its own flow rider. So the lines have been too long on board. You can definitely surf here on land. So as you can see, the Lazy River does create sort of an island effect for most of the water park and a great current. I felt like the Lazy River, the couple times I went around, really moved you pretty good. Sometimes Lazy Rivers, you know, they don't have the right current, a little too lazy. Uh, so that was pretty cool to see. And they had a whole upper area with that hidden hot tub that we will show you in a sec. There's also a rock climbing wall behind the flow rider here. So it's kind of like a Royal Caribbean ship, but on land. Also a basketball court and there's another bar right behind the flow rider, so it's fun to watch people on the flow rider there. Always good entertainment seeing people wipe out. Just a really nice amount of stuff packed into a relatively small amount of space, and everything is pretty fresh and new. The resort is fairly new on Nassau, so that is really awesome to see. Beach access is gonna be down on that gate there, so you have a small little beach just to enjoy. So you have everything you really need for a nice day in port in Nassau see the jets that power the current there for the lazy river you do have some non-motorized watercraft that you can use as well so you have your kayaks and your stand-up paddle boards don't think there's really any good snorkeling so i'd probably leave that on the ship if you brought that with you but you can mess around with your snorkels in the beach area too
Now we're gonna cross over the Lazy River and enter the Lounge Islands where you're gonna enter all the water slides, explore a little bit more of the water park. You also get a good view of the actual resort, Margaritaville Resort in the background. So you can actually stay here, enjoy a full week long vacation if you wish. And all really built to really nice standards, had a chance to walk through after my time in the water park and it's really a nice spot. These cabanas are of course an extra charge, but you can rent those for the day. If you want a little bit more extra space or something a little bit more comfortable, that is an option there. And in terms of water slides, there are three. There's one small one for the littler kids, one enclosed slide, and then one faster enclosed slide. So you're gonna take the steps up there. You let the lifeguard know which one you'd like to go to and he lets you through. They spit out right there into their own little pool. Overall, nothing really too intense, but a lot of fun for sure. And you can do those over and over again, and the lines are gonna be a lot shorter here than at Atlantis, I guarantee. And as promised, I wanted to show you the hidden hot tub here at the top. So this was unoccupied when I arrived, and then a family joined me, they found it too. But a nice little tip if you're here early like I was. Again, not super busy yet, starting to fill up a little bit as I got in but you can grab that hot tub before anyone else does. I believe this is the only hot tub in this space. If you've been to Margaritaville Resort, Nassau, let me know in the comments. Great views from up here. You can even see the one pool that you don't have access to when you enter the Fins Up Water Park. This is exclusive just for the resort guests. That's that infinity pool on the third or fourth level up there overlooking the beach. It's got the nice infinity glass on one side of the pool so you can actually see through it. You can see one person up there right now. And there's that cliff jump experience. So nothing like too crazy in terms of the cliff jump, but once you're standing up there, it does look a little higher than from down below. So let's take a quick little loop around the lazy river here. Enjoy yourselves in this beautiful pool at the Margaritaville Resort. Here's a look at the beach area. This is what things are gonna look like if you're enjoying the beach instead of the water park during your day here at Margaritaville. The public side of the beach is pretty nice too. If you're looking for a very free excursion, you can just bring beach towel from the ship and enjoy yourself here. Lots of restaurants on the other end of the beach that are pretty reasonably priced for Nassau. So just, just know that you can walk down all the way here, even if you have a wristband for the water park if you wanna check out some things a little outside of the resort during your stay here. You can come in and out with that wristband. And the water is absolutely beautiful. There's a bunch of activities though, close to the port. One to check out the straw market. This has been redone recently. So this is gonna be, you know, your typical bartering style souvenir shops. It's pretty fun in there. Everyone's really nice. You know, a little, a little pushy, but not anything too rude or intimidating. If you've never really gone to one of these markets before, it's gonna be definitely a little bit of a culture shock for you, but I do recommend walking through here, seeing if anything tickles your fancy. And my only recommendation is never take the first price. This is located right next to the port area, so even if you weren't at Margaritaville, you wanted to venture a little bit beyond the gates of the port, it's gonna be right across the street. But I did decide to head back to the ship a little bit after lunch. Wanted to enjoy a little bit of my day on board the ship before everyone else got back on board from Nassau. I do like to enjoy those few hours just where the ship just feels a lot quieter. Everyone's off. It's really an awesome experience. Do like the tent that they set up with cold towels and some water for folks. A little bit of a line getting back on board. I had to do a security screening, but I did have a towel animal waiting for me when I got back. It was a taste of Italy as the theme in the main dining room. And I gotta say, this was one of the most disappointing things that I've had on a Royal Caribbean ship. 
food was not very good. Uh, I got the Arancini as my appetizer, just really not great. Polenta was flavorless and just not a good sauce. And this is my chicken Parmesan. There's no sauce to the chicken Parmesan. Really old looking spaghetti. Uh, the tiramisu was really good. But overall, this definitely soured my experience in the main dining room on this cruise. So I decided I was going to go to some specialty dining on the other days. Had a cool like 80s party going on though in the Royal Caribbean uh, Royal Promenade. And the nightclub was going off too that I saw from the pool deck. But that was my day. <laughs>